Okay. Desktop expression in code so what you're going to do recording. is you're going to shift control apostrophe to bring up all your comments in this paper. And your apostrophe. Semicolon. Yeah, is it's to the right of your semicolon. Please wait processing 39 items. Land Perfect. Viewers comments dialogue. List one, list two. Roman Dash, we will keep working on this, but I do believe you can do better with the name and description. Please take your time and really think about what the problem is asking. The name is usually in the problem somewhere. Please keep giving me your best. Windows user mod, Jan 14, 13, 1 of 39. The okay. Use the arrow key. So it's told you you have 39 comments in this. Now let's go specifically to where he made this comment so you can see what he's directly referring to. So hit enter on that. Okay, and the comment box disappears and you end up exactly where he's making the comment. So insert up arrow and listen. Quarter three and practice packet number at comment 20 comment woo. Okay, so now you know he is making that comment comment basically throughout the whole document. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it was just on number one or just on number three you know he would be specifically referring to that, but he's not. He's referring to the whole packet. So he wants you to be much more descriptive and write a whole lot more throughout this whole packet. Okay, so that's the general information. So now go ahead and shift control apostrophe to go to the next comment. Please wait processing 39 items. Reviewers comments dialogue. List one, list two. System solutions Windows user mod. Jan 14, 13, 2 of 39. The move okay, and you can key. notice it immediately jumps to the second one. Let's see what he's referring that to. So hit enter and let's pop to it. Blank. Print new. Edit. Okay, insert up arrow and listen. One right there, name colon, as comment, absolute value equation slash inequality graphs, comment, woo. Okay, so the comment specifically goes to the absolute value equation equality graphics, okay? Go ahead, down arrow and listen. Graphic 0.44 inches wide by 0.23 inches high. Okay, let's bring up the next comment. You actually popped into an image. Let's go to the next comment so you can see what he's saying. So how are you going to bring up your comments again? Please wait processing 39 items. Reviewers comments dialogue. List one, list two. Must match the name. Windows user mod. Jan 14. Okay, so you must match the, the name the in number one. So let's go ahead and listen throughout number one. So hit enter. Print two, edit. So down arrow. Blank. Keep going. Underline, underline, underline. Okay, Blank. so in that description, he wants you to match the name in, in all of that. Were you reading your Braille copy when you did this? Some of it, but these are all new problems. I don't um, know the descriptions very well in the names. Oh, okay. So what I want you to do uh, from now on, Roman, if you do not understand something or uh, you just don't remember it, I want you to type that in so your teacher specifically knows where your problem areas are at. So just put... I don't remember these, I don't remember the descriptions, but just be upfront about it so he knows where you're having the difficulties. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We want to let the teacher know, you know what, I, and you can say, if you don't get something, put, I just don't get this problem, uh, can we meet after school? And then he will set up a time where he can work one-on-one -on -one with you. But unless he knows you're specifically having a, an issue with something, he can't help you. So do write that in when you don't get something. Okay? Let's go ahead and bring up your comments again. Please wait processing 39 items. Reviewers comments dialogue. List one, list two. Roman, make sure you are writing left parent minus one. Five right parent is not a solution to the system. Windows user mod. Jan 14, 13, 4 of 39. Okay, so hit enter arrow key. so we can go into that. Blank, print two, edit. Okay, so go ahead and up arrow until you read the problem because this is your answer to the problem. So up arrow to you read what the problem was. Minus one plus four equals three. Keep going. Y equals minus one slash five X. Keep going. Y equals dash X plus four. Keep going. Blank. Keep going. Problem colon is left parent minus one. Five right parent the solution of the system. Explain. Okay. So you need to have, so whatever the problem is, you need to have that written. Left parent minus one comma five right parent and that's what you're working with, and that's what he's referring to. Roman, make sure you are writing left parent minus one comma five. Right parent is not a solution to this system, okay? And then you have to figure it out. So my guess is you were just having problems with the algebraic formula in general. 
Is that true? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so after you finish your problem, then just go ahead and write them a little note. Just say, you know, I just don't get how to figure out this problem. Okay? Let's go ahead and bring up your next solution, or I mean your next comment. Lead weight processing, 39 items, reviewers comments, dialogue, list one, list two, Roman, make sure you are writing left parent minus one, five right parent is not a solution to the system, dot windows, user mom, Jan and 14, it's because 13, we up arrow, that's the reason why this is repeating, so down arrow to the next one. Roman, I am sorry, but I really cannot follow this. Here is what I need your answer to eventually look like without the items in parentheses, colon and dash four equals minus three and dash six left parent at three and to both sides right parent four and dash four equals minus six left parent at four to both sides right parent four and equals minus two. Left parent okay. divide by four right parent and equals minus two slash four and equals minus one slash two. Check your answer for both semicolon. Hopefully they will have the same answer semicolon. If they do not have the same answer, then there is an error somewhere. Windows user mom, Jan 14, 13. Now that's perfect information. That's the information that you need to figure out how to solve this problem. So that was really great on his Type part. And Andrea is now, line. if you're not understanding what he's saying, n minus 4 equals minus 3n minus 6, add 3n to both sides, 4n minus 4 equals minus 6. So he's telling you exactly how to solve this problem. Now, my guess is you probably still need some follow-up from him in order to go over this to understand it is that true? Some of it. Okay. Do you understand what he's saying in here really well? Yeah, we went over it last night. Okay, great, great. Did you meet with him one-on-one? -on -one? Um, there was another kid there, but yeah. Okay, oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so do we need to enter and go into this, or do you completely understand that comment? Yeah, I understand that Okay, one. then go ahead and just go down arrow to the next comment. Roman, be sure to write these two equations on top of one another, then try to identify additive inverses. If there are no additive inverses, you will have to make them by multiplying all terms of one or both equations. In this problem, the 7x and minus 7x are additive inverses, so you can add these two equations. 7x plus 2y equals 10 plus left parent minus 7x plus y equals minus 16 right parent 3y equals minus 6 left parent divide by 3 right parent y equals minus 2. Plug this value into either the first or second equation to find x. I will plug it into the first equation. 7x plus 2 left parent minus 2 right parent equals 10. 7x dash 4 equals 10. 7x equals 14. x equals 2 and. Okay, do you get that or do you want to go into the paper to see where that's at? We worked that one too. I think that was the last one we worked though. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Go ahead, down arrow. D is the correct answer, Windows user mom, Jan 14, 13. Okay, so let's see what that's referring to, because D doesn't tell you anything until you get into it. So enter to pop back into the paper. Blank, print view, edit. Okay, so let's go ahead and up arrow, since we know A, B, C, D, D is below. So up arrow. 25Q plus 10D equals 195. Up arrow. D, Q plus D equals 12. Okay. So that's the correct answer. Insert up arrow and listen to it one more time. D, Q plus D equals 12. Okay, so D is referring to the problem Q plus D equals 12. So now go all the way up until you hear the problem. Q plus D equals 1, C, 10, Q plus 12 equals D, B, 20, Q plus A, Q plus D equals 12. given information. All quarter and times, let Q equal the problem colon. Suppose you have just enough money and coins to pay for a loaf of bread priced at $1.95. You have 12 coins. All quarter and times, let Q equal the number of quarters and D equal the number of times, which system models the given information? Up arrow. All yeah. quarter and Did times, you start with the problem? It read that times, so fast. System models the yes. yes. Okay, so it's a story problem, and he's telling you D is the correct answer. Do you remember which one you chose? I chose A. Yes, you did. Good, good. Okay, so do you know how to work that out? Yeah, it was just that they didn't have the cent sign. It was um, a dollar, or um, it was a dollar um, fifty cents, or um, one hundred and fifty cents instead of a dollar and fifty cents. So that threw most of the class off. Okay, so go ahead and down arrow to D because I want to show you the the problem under it, which it actually writes out all the information. So go ahead and go back down to D. Given information A Q plus Q plus D equals B twenty Q plus C ten Q plus D D Q plus D equals twelve. Yeah, and then down arrow. Twenty five Q plus ten D equals one hundred ninety five. Okay, and then it tells you, you know, it's switching that dollar ninety five to one hundred ninety five, and it's telling you how to solve that. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and bring up your next comment. Please wait processing 39 items. Reviewers comments dialogue. List one, list two. D is the correct answer. Windows user mom. Jan 14, 13, 7 of 39. Okay, what are you going to do? Right to use the arrow keys. Down arrow. Yep, good. Inequality solutions. Windows user mom. Jan 14, 13. Okay, do you know what that refers to? 
Not really. I know what the problem is. I just don't know what it's referring to.